Hello, moon babies. It's Molly. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It's really good to be here with you. So I am extra focused this year on making this solstice season, this Yule Tide special by bringing my creativity to it. And I wanted to be able to share some of that energy with you today by sharing a handful of ideas for you to get some winter magic moving in your books and make it your most magical season yet with some solstice inspired grimoire prompts. Let's art witch. <laughs> Create a stone labyrinth in your book for meditation. You can do this by painting paper, cutting rock shapes out of the paper, and then gluing them into a spiral shape or a shape of your choice to create a labyrinth. Consider researching ways to magically tend to your kitchen. There are numerous helpful spirits, gods and folk traditions that focus specifically on the kitchen. And this could be a really wonderful way to imbue your space with some comfort and joy all winter long. You might wish to create your own winter forest inspired incense blend or simmer pot recipe. Think fir, cedar, bergamot, eucalyptus, all of those wonderful, green, deep, fresh smells. What would you create and how will you use it? Strengthen your relationship and deepen your magical understanding of winter by creating an invocation to the elements based on poetic images from the season. Winter does not get a ton of love in the magical community. <laughs> it's not as sexy as summer. It's not as sexy as fall, but there is absolutely beauty in it if we look for it. So an example might be air as the icy winds, water as the twinkling icicle, fire as the sun rising over the frozen lake. What are the images like where you live? Yo, Saturnalia! <laughs> Spend some time this season digging into the magic of Saturn. Saturn as an archetype, as a god form or forms, as well as a planetary influence. Often Saturn is written off as the cranky buzzkill grandpa of the cosmos. <laughs> but Saturn has a lot of really deep, important lessons to teach us. Teach us things about boundaries, sovereignty, long-term goal setting. It could be interesting to reflect on ways that Saturn is having a helpful influence in your life right now. We've been digging into a bit of Saturn magic on Patreon lately. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the down bar if that's something you're interested in investigating. Dedicate a page in your grimoire to Labafana. Labafana, the Christmas witch. <laughs> this is a really delightful figure from Italian folklore, the Christmas witch who delivers presents on January 5th. So she's not really the Christmas witch. She's more like an epiphany witch. But I love the idea of a broom riding gift giving witch. <laughs> so a really powerful, magical theme for the solstice as the darkest night and throughout the dark nights of winter is personal alchemy. You may wish to dedicate a spread 
to creating a portrait of yourself in an alembic or perhaps as parts coming back together or as one part splitting into many to later be reunited. This could be a really powerful art spell to encourage personal transformation. Holly, mistletoe, ivy, there are so many plants associated with the solstice season and the yuletide. They're everywhere. They're on our altars. They're decking the halls. They're on cups and napkins and sweaters. <laughs> but what do we really know about these sacred plants? Consider dedicating some time and space in your book to artistically exploring these ideas, doing a bit of research, and perhaps meeting the devas of each of these plants in meditation. Consider creating your own witchy or pagan or free-thinking Advent tradition. Traditionally, Advent is observed in the Christian community by counting down the Sundays to Christmas with the lighting of a candle on an Advent wreath to internally, spiritually prepare for the Christmas celebration. This is such a beautiful model that I think is worth drawing from. And personally, in, in my own life, I have wonderful Advent memories from my childhood. I actually think that our Advent celebrations may have stoked my interest in witchcraft. Actually, I know for a fact that they did. <laughs> it was a really wonderful, magical time to sit in the dark together and read from the special book and light the candles and anticipate something fun happening afterward. It was a really lovely tradition and it's something that, though I no longer belong to the Christian church, is something that I've continued to do in my personal practice. So how might you wish to use this model and write about it, illustrate it, make it a ritual in your book and use it to bring some really grounding, nourishing, beautiful, contemplative energy to your solstice season. Create an illustration, write a spell, create a visualization, for absorbing the incredible striking palette of winter sunsets or sunrises and use this image or these words to imbue and empower yourself with the beauty of nature. And finally, misrule. <laughs> Ancient Saturnalia celebrations were full of some serious foolishness. <laughs> so it could be really fun to invite that spirit into your book with either a list of jokes, images that make you laugh, or spreads dedicated to your favorite trickster gods, spirits, or energy. <laughs> Is it really Yule without a little naughty magic? I don't know. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed this little collection of Yuletide ideas. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a list, it is available for you on the blog as well as some Yuletide and Solstice printables as a gift from me to you. So if you would like to download those and play with those in your book, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to send all of the big blessings and magic of the season to you from my house to yours. And until we speak again, moon babies, witch on, witch boldly, and be well. Bye-bye.